Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the random variable n has pmf. P and fn is equal to c over n when n is equal to 1, 2, or 3 and this is 0 otherwise. Find number 1 the value of the constant c. Number 2 probability that n is equal to 1, probability that uh, n is greater than or equal to 2, and probability that n is greater than 3. So let's begin the solution to this problem. So um, this is the PMF of the random variable n, right? And the c is a constant here. So the sum of all the probabilities of a PMF is 1. Sum of all the probabilities, sum of all the probabilities of a PMF is 1, right? So, uh, uh, the probability that random variable uh, n takes on value 1, 2, and 3 is equal. This is C over n. So, uh, in this case, uh, n is 1, then this is C over 1. Then, uh, 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 we have when n is equal to 2, then this is the probability is a C over 2. The probability that n takes on value 3 is uh, C over 3. And some of these probabilities should be 1. So we can see, take C as common. This is 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. And this should be equal to 1. So the LCM is 6. So this is 6 plus uh, 3 plus 2. And this is 1. So this is 6 plus C plus 2, no, uh, 9 plus 2, 11. 11 over 6. So C into 11 over 6 is equal to 1, which means C is equal to 6 over 11. So the value of the constant C is 6 over 11. So we can write the PMF like this. So C is a 6 over 11 divided by N. So this is 11N. And N can take on values 1, 2, and 3. Only three values are possible. And the probability is a 0 otherwise. For any other value of N, the probability is 0. Right? Uh, so this gives us uh, our part one. Now, uh, this was the part one. Now the part two. Probability that n is equal to one, right? So we can denote this probability n is equal to one also like, like this, right? So, so when n is equal to one, so the probability is simply six over 11 multiplied by this n is one, so six over 11. So probability is simply uh, 6 over 11 into 1 that is 6 over 11 so probability that n is equal to 1 is 6 over 11 now the part 3 probability that n is greater than or equal to 2 so uh, n is greater than or equal to 2, only two values. So greater than or equal to, equal to 2 is this and then 3. So probability that n is greater than or equal to 2 is equal to probability that n is equal to 2 plus probability that n is equal to 3, right? So it can take on only two values for this case. So n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 3. There are no other values possible here. So we can find out the probabilities for each of these case and add them together, right? So probability that n is greater than or equal to 2. So to, we put uh, n is equal to 2 here to calculate this probability that n is equal to 2. So 6 over 11 multiplied by 2 plus 6 over 11 multiplied by 3. So 6 over 11 is common so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 6 over 11 so LCM is again 6 so this is 3 plus 2 here so this is 6 over 11 into 5 over 6 this cancels out so probability that n is greater than or equal to 2 is simply 5 over 11. 
now part uh, four probability that n is greater than three so you see uh, here only n can take on only these three values one two and three for any other value this is zero so for greater than three the probability is zero probability that n is greater than three is zero so this concludes the solution to the given problem.